What would you do if you were the owner of a company, had about 100 employees, and one day one of your managers comes strolling in your office, stands in front of your desk, and just looks at you and says, I got an offer at another company. They're willing to give me a sizable pay increase and some great benefits, but I'm wondering if you are willing to match the offer. What would you do if one of your employees came in and presented you with that, that uh, I guess you'd say, option? Well, that happened to me, and let me tell you what I did. I stood up, looked at him, and said, congratulations, I hope you like your new job. And I remember that employee looked at me and he was stunned. He was surprised. He was very surprised. I, I, I could tell by his face that I was so willing to let him go. But in my mind right away, I thought, this guy isn't loyal. He's not a good manager. He doesn't know how to negotiate. And I thought, yeah, it's best to let him go. So anyways, he ends up, a few days later, he ends up leaving the company. And um, quite frankly, I was, I was happy that he was gone. But let me tell you, he could have gotten what he wanted had he used a different approach. And I'm going to tell you, I'm going to tell you how he could have gotten what he wanted. I'm going to tell you two very effective ways to ask your boss for a raise. I'll tell you about those effective approaches to, to asking. But in addition to that, what I'm going to do is I want to just talk a little bit about if you're over 50 years old and you want to go in to ask for a pay increase, I want to talk about what you should be thinking when you're sitting or standing in front of your boss. I'll tell you about that, my friends, and that's up next right here on Over 50 TV. Welcome back to Over 50 TV. My name is Lou Reyes. Well, before the break, I said I would tell you about two effective approaches when it comes to asking your boss for a pay increase. And the approaches that I'm going to tell you about are approaches that have worked on me. Employees have used these approaches over the years when it comes to asking for a raise. And I know these approaches have been used at other companies as well. So let me tell you about the first approach. Number one, when you're going to go to your boss, the first step, the first thing you're going to do is schedule an appointment. Schedule an appointment to talk with him or her. You don't have to tell them what you're going to be talking about, but just say, hey, I'd like to discuss something with you. If you've got a few minutes, can we can we set up a, a, set up a schedule, set up a time? So you schedule the time. Before you go into the office, so before you go into your boss's office, you want to be sure you're prepared. And I would put together a list of things that you want to talk about and on the top of those list is saying, this is what I did when I was hired, or this is what I've been doing since my last pay increase. And hopefully what you've been doing is you're doing more than what you were doing when you got your last increase. And let's assume that you are. So you're going in prepared. You're able to rattle off the things that you're doing now and the things that you believe will justify a pay increase. So you ask them for the increase. But what you're also doing, though, is you're saying, this is what I've done. This is what I'm doing. I enjoy my job. I love what I'm doing. I, I welcome more work, but I'm wondering if I could get an increase in the range. And this is number three, step three, in the range of about 10 to 15 percent. Now, when I say 10 to 15 percent, I don't know in your particular circumstance what the norm is. I mean, you could be asking for the moon when you should actually be asking for, for planet Earth. I, I don't know what that number would be. But I would definitely ask for a percentage of uh, an increase. And you want to do that because you want to make sure that your boss has got something at top of mind because you don't want to be getting an increase of a 1% increase when you were really thinking 5, 7, 8, 9, 10, whatever it would be. So you want to ask for the increase, and that puts that number in your boss's mind. Number four, what I would do, step four, is before you leave the meeting, I would thank your boss for his time or her time. Thank them. Let them know how much you enjoy working at this company and you, you enjoy your career there. But I would also ask this, and I think this is important, but this is also a step I find that's hard for some people to ask. I would say, do you think you could let me know by, I, I'd give it a week, and your boss may have already said, hey, it's going to take me a few weeks. And if he says that, say that's fine. Two weeks would be on this date. But I would definitely try to get a date 
one thing you don't want to happen, and you, you've probably seen this and have experienced this in your life. I've experienced it in my life. You ask for something, but you don't know when they're going to get back to you. So you're waiting and you're waiting, and you're waiting, and it kind of gives you a little bit of anxiety because you don't know what's going to happen. So I strongly, strongly recommend that you say, can you give me an idea by in, in the next week? in say in seven days or 10 days. And I wouldn't say in the next week, I would say by the end of the week, by Friday, or maybe by Monday, whatever day that'll be. And one thing you can say is this, and, and this is maybe to help, to help it be more palatable, is you could say, my wife and I, or my husband and I are working on our budget. You know, we want to put an extension on the house or we want it to buy a new car. And so it's important. And this is why I'm giving you, uh, I'm asking, I'm asking if you'll give me a day that you can get back to me. So that's this is the approach number one. Approach number two is very, very similar to the story that I related to you in the very beginning of this video in the opening when I said I had an employee walk in my office and basically just in a, in a kind of a mercenary way say I got a pay, in, a pay offer, a job offer at another company and will you match it? And, and that to me was an approach that you just should not take. But in this case, what I would do is I'd schedule an appointment with your boss, walk in, sit down and say, I want to let you know that I, was, I received an offer at another company, an offer to work there and they've offered me a pay increase and they've offered me some, some nice benefits. But I want you to know that I, I've already turned it down. I, I don't want to work there. I really enjoy working here, but it did make me think, um, Mr. Boss or Mrs. Boss, it did make me think that I wonder if I have a future here, uh, a future with this company, and if, if that future would include, would include uh, uh, an increase in my pay. So that's what I would say. And it, again, it's a little bit similar, but you see the difference that I used? I said right away, I got an offer, but I don't want to take it. I enjoy working here. I don't want to leave, but I'm wondering, I'm wondering if I have a career here. It's a very, very simple approach, very simple. But I can tell you this, most bosses are going to bend over backwards when they see this employee come in and say, wow, you know, they got an offer for more money, but they want to work with me. They want to work here at this company. Most bosses are going to bend over backwards to figure out what they can do to give an increase. And I've seen this approach work many times. I, I can tell you this, if, if, if somebody comes to me and I've had this happen, as I mentioned earlier, if somebody comes to me with this approach, I am more than likely going to give them a raise if just for the fact that of their loyalty. Now, the thing that they got to do though, and this is important, and I don't, I haven't seen many, many employees do this, is you've got to make sure that you ask for a certain number. A boss will say, well, what were you offered? You know, can you, would you mind sharing me, with me what you were offered? But I would give the number. And, and the boss will look at it, and he, and he or she will be thinking about what they can do to match that offer, and not because they know you want to leave, but because they want to reward your loyalty, and they want to keep a good employee. Now, here's the thing, whether it's approach number one or approach number two. If your boss, he or she blows you off, if they say, you know what, it's just not something that we can do right now, you know, they give you an excuse about the economy, or maybe they'll talk about COVID, which is obviously a reality in a lot of companies. If they say that to you, you can say, okay, maybe you can't give me that increase. I do want to stay, but can we revisit this? Can I come back in, in three months, 60 days, whatever that period is? I wouldn't go out six months unless they've already told you. But if, if, can we revisit this? More often than not, they're going to say yes. Whether they're sincere or not, I don't know. But you have to determine whether or not you have a future at that company. If there is a real, if, if you see they've been cutting back everywhere, it's probably not a good time to go in and ask for a raise. You, you probably can understand, you should understand that you're not going to get a raise. I, I wouldn't go in there if you see cutbacks everywhere else in the department, in your company. But if you don't see that, and your boss says, yeah, you know what, let's revisit this. But they don't give you a set date. You need to set that date. You need to say, okay, how about 60 days from today, I'll come back. When you go back that next time, 
you'll know, you'll have a great idea whether or not you're valued. Now, if you're over 50, there's some things that I would like you or I would ask you to think about before you go in and ask your boss for a raise. I'd like you to think about your experience and the years that you put into the company, the years that you, of experience that you have working at that particular job. And it doesn't have to be at, at that company, but it could be the cumulative total, the total of experience that you have and how valuable that experience is. I'd also like to think you to think about your skills and your work ethic, because I think those are also equally important. When you're going in or before you go in to talk to, to that person, to that boss for about a raise, you're going in and you are thinking, I'm a skilled person, I've got a great work ethic, I've got a lot of experience, and I know what I deserve and I know what I am worth. Go in there with confidence and go in there knowing, knowing who you are. Well, that's all I got for you today, folks. I just wanted to, to give you the two approaches that I've seen work over time. And I also wanted, as you just heard, I just wanted to let you know that if you're over 50, I, I really, really believe you got to believe in your value. So that's all I got for you. Uh, if you would, I didn't ask you earlier. I will ask you now. Please subscribe to our channel. Subscribe to Over 50 TV. You can do that by hitting that little red button. It's underneath the screen. There's also a little bell. If you hit that little bell, every single time we upload a new video, you'll be notified in your inbox. But if you don't hit that little bell, you will not be notified. Well, as I always say, have a great day, everybody. Thank you.